Um, so there's a casting call for a new family reality TV series. Now, Nina Zendaya, a prominent entrepreneur and winner of the Great Women Awards Middle East, has made a significant announcement on her Instagram stories. She shared information for a cast, uh, casting for a new family reality TV series and is looking for families living a luxurious life with children between aged 1 and 15 years old. The new reality series promises to showcase the lives of families who embody luxury and success, providing a unique glimpse into their daily experiences. So if you're watching today and if you believe your family fits this description and you're ready to share your story, this could be the opportunity of a lifetime to shine on the big screen. Well, if you, as Casey mentioned, Uh, think that you can be in a reality TV show and if you want to be part of it so you can drop an email to uh, at nina at lifestyle slash dubai dot com which honestly is very interesting because we had like a mix of you know answers if you would be right. in a reality TV or not so if you're watching on Instagram Would you join a reality TV show uh, in Dubai sharing your life? And I'd love to get your answers on this because Farah and I spoke about it <laughs> and we think one thing, we put it to the production room, mm-hmm. they think the complete opposite, and then we put it to our WhatsApp account, which by the way, that was after like literally two minutes mm-hmm. and it's balance. And again, would you join a reality show in Dubai? A, Some said no. Yes, what an opportunity, 27. And nope, not for me, 32. So it's very balanced. It is, but let's talk about it. Would you be, would you actually have like a reality TV show if you had like a luxurious family, you know, and a kid and, you know, you're living like the Dubai mom life? I wouldn't. However, mm-hmm. however, however, I see what an opportunity it could bring to some families. If a TV show, never, ever. Because number one, I believe that those reality TV shows are creating like this like kind of like, I would say like, I don't know, like a wrong stereotype. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And it's like, oh yeah, you know what? Only rich families can be there. No, but there are as well normal families and as well even rich families, even if you are so rich and you have like the best perf- picture perfect life ever, there is not, there, perfection is Perfectionism does not exist. Mm. And it's going to create like this, like, I would say, like idea in other mothers. Right, but why would you allow that? So just to play devil's advocate, because I do feel like Mm. we sit on the same page on this one. So, for example, Chris Fade is not the stereotypical Dubai Bling character, but he actually, when life presents an opportunity, he went on to show his life and his family. And he's an amazing family man. Mm. Like, and he showed a different style of life to the percepted Dubai Bling. So... Just because it's a six, uh, it's saying like a family life in Dubai, you could go on and show your family life in Dubai. Well, sorry to cut you off, but have you seen Masa's comment on Instagram? She's like, can I be the single cool girl on the show? <laughs> the single cool girl. Um, this is a family show, Masa. It's not for families. Single. Yeah, it's, it's not for single people. Tom, <laughs> she'll babysit. Babysit. I mean, Thomas said, when should you enroll? Well, there's an email for you at Dubo 12. <laughs> Sorry, I had about 12, so I've been asked and I said no. So we had Sarah Al Madani sitting here, mm-hmm. who's also not the perceived Real Housewives of Dubai star. True. Right? Like she's an amazing entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't follow that like glitz glam lifestyle mm-hmm. as you would expect. And we asked her, why did you do the show? Like it's not, it's not in you. And she said, same with Saba and Yusuf, like it was an opportunity and she that went life presented to me. And when something nap, raps on your door, she had been manifesting, I want to show what entrepreneurial, successful Middle Eastern women are like to the world. Real mm. Housewives knocks. And she mm. was like, mm. huh, right, okay, I'll do it. I know, but I, the thing is, I don't know, because like I am such a private person. I'm so private to the point where, like, for example, um, I have... I told you, I've been thinking of like having, like, oh, a day in my life with... A day in, a, in, like, in my life. right and I would want to do it I would film it I would and all it all that it needs is like me like putting together the footage and just like posting it but I don't know it's like something saying like Farah you know what just like keep your personal life private because like I have mm. my own life like I wake up I listen to Fairuz, you know like on like 
very calm, Lovely. have breakfast, have coffee, yeah. you know, and it's like, do I really want to share this with people? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, no. <laughs> because, because from a, an audience perspective, yeah. Farah, as a captivated audience, I would watch that. I think that's so interesting. Um, like to watch your morning set up, like, you know, d- doing a mindful, calming morning, cooking your yeah. food. your host on a show, very interesting. However, for your personal life, if you put a camera on that, it gets ruins annoying. it. Yes, exactly. it gets and annoying. do you actually want a camera in your face through personal life moments? Yes. When does the blurred line of what's actually personal, what's actually private? Because I genuinely think to be truly successful on these shows, mm-hmm. the secret sauce is genuine authenticity. And True. it's very hard to be genuinely authentic unless you just bear it all. And I think that's what the Kardashians said in advance of their show. They said, how are we going to make our show uh, successful? And what are they like, what, 23 seasons now? Yeah. They went from E! on to Hulu. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure. Because at that time, let's say now, not so much, but like at that time, they said, we're just going to be extremely authentic to ourselves. So we saw fights. We saw that, like, it was like True. real sister drama. And Literally. that's how they did it. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I really love the Kardashians and I love, I, I love their show. And it's because it, I, I felt like, you know, it's like real because I'm used to have a, rit- I have a ritual of waking up and not looking at my phone or yeah. anything. <laughs> it was like, just like Instagram, Instagram, this is how I don't look at my phone every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Um, yeah. I mean, so, uh, each to their own. 100%. And anyone who goes for the show, I wish you the ultimate success. I do think it's an incredible opportunity. Um, and I can't wait to see what the show will bring. Will it be Real Housewives drama? Will it be the bling of Dubai? Or will it be genuine family moments? Let's see. Um, let's jump in 